All right. How's our soccer team doing? I have not seen the ladies. Oh, today? Yeah, they're playing USC right now. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I haven't seen the ladies. I'm going to after the weekend off. Yeah, it was. Uh, they had a great practice today. They had a lot of energy, so it was good. How do you feel about Thursday games in general? Um, I like like about one a year, and we played. We opened up on a Friday, right? And we're playing this Thursday. I, I think a good Thursday, one a year is good, and I like playing them at home. Um, then you don't have to travel during on Wednesday and all that, so I don't mind having a Thursday game because then you got you know, you got a couple days after that to you know come in on Friday and get a little recovery, and then you can go again. Do you have to remind the players about what kind of a schedule this is? And that this is technically yeah. not a Sunday practice. Yeah, yeah. This, today's a Tuesday, and uh, so uh, they need to understand it's going to come quicker. Um, a lot of our guys have played in a few of these, so they understand. Right. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a, especially at home. We've got off to some really good starts, um, in well, in the state of Colorado, um, and so uh, yeah, we love to get going fast in the state of Colorado and, and keep it going. And that's something we would definitely try to do. And I think every um, you know every team that wants to, and they come on the road, they want to get off to a fast start. But we've had uh, good success at doing that. You got to play a whole game after that, obviously. But right. You feel like those have been tone setters when you've been able to do that. Well, it gets you kind of um, gets you in the flow quicker, and you kind of get comfortable quicker. Um, but you know, we we bounced back too. We've had a, a rough start a couple times, and just kind of kept fighting. But I'd, I'd rather get a fast start and get rolling. And we we've, we've had a knack when we got a fast start to keep playing and not really, it's really. I mean, you're always going to have a lag. But some of our starts have been hyper fast. So then, if you're just going normal, it looks like we've slowed down a little bit. Um, but uh, I felt like we've always, we've kept playing. We haven't relaxed and let anybody really just come back. I know you've got a lot of senior upperclassmen and guys, but can you talk a little bit about a lot of some of the younger guys that have gotten to play? I mean, obviously, a Gambola and a Jay McIntyre, Anthony Jewel Meese, Chase Frankie, a lot of the younger guys that are giving you some depth this year. Yeah, all those guys have, have played well and, and played good in their roles. Um, and, you know, they're all going to play more and more for us, you know, as the years go on. Um, and I feel like that they've shown the right that they can, they can play in the Pac-12 level and be able to be successful. Uh, there's been, you know, Steven Montez is another guy. Um, you know, um, Kyle Evans is really young. He's a sophomore. So, you know, we've, you know, we've got quite a few of those guys. Is that important to build as you're building a program to make sure that that turnover, you've always got guys that have that? Yeah, it is. It is. I'm just glad we don't have about 15 of them starting like we used to. You want to roll them in and then kind of get their feet wet and they're, and they're able to play. And um, fortunately, we've had some games where they were able to play quite a bit because we, we pulled out a ways too. So that was good. And then some of the games they've had to play quite a bit in the heat of the battle. So um, playing experience helps a tremendous amount. Uh -huh. um, well, they just got to keep. Honestly, you got to keep working on kind of like your golf swing. You know, you go out there and you kind of figure it, fix it, fix it a little bit, and and um, hopefully hit it down the center of that fairway. And so I'm hoping that they do that. They've been working at it. They want to do well at it. They they kicked really well today. So hopefully they'll um, keep that up. Yeah, he's still battling mono. Um, I, you know, it usually takes a while. The doctors will let us know some more as the week goes on. Um, I don't meet with the doctors till tomorrow, so I won't have any more further no until that. And he meets with them tomorrow. So after that, we'll have a little bit better gauge on that. I would hope so, but I don't know um, that you have to send all the paperwork in. You have to do all that type of thing. Um, uh, you know, hopefully there's a, a shot at it. Coach, do you uh, prepare any differently for a game knowing that you and the team you're playing have a bye week the week prior? Uh, no, um, but you know the question is, will you slow down a little bit on bye week? They got the same problem, so. Uh, you know, that's, uh, I guess that kind of evens it out. I think the way that they did it this year is really good, especially a Thursday night, because if we had a bye week and somebody played Saturday and then had to turn around and play Thursday, that, I think that's a little bit of an advantage. And I think it's fair the way they did it this year, both of us having that situation that way. You guys being ranked, you guys uh, uh, top of the Pac-12 South by yourself now. Can you, can this team keep that one game focus that you <laughs> stressed all year long? I, I sure hope so. Um, I, they did today. They came out ready to roar and practice and worked at it. They've been focused. Um, and uh, they know what's in front of them, and they know the only way you can do it is one game at a time. You slip up one time, and then you're 
it's back in a, and you know tight it gets tighter and tighter so uh, they, on all the teams we play are excellent uh, you know the fortunate thing we have we have three of the four at home which is a, a I think a good situation for us they really struggle with uh, running the ball uh huh. About, uh, yeah, they've they've players. had they've been beat up a little bit at running back. Um, you know, they've had a couple <laughs> injuries in the line, and then the last few games, they've kind of abandoned the run. I mean, they're throwing it. I think they threw it like almost 70 times, um, and uh, and they moved the ball and they scored points doing it. So um, I would imagine they'd try to balance the run out a little bit, but um, the way they threw it and moved the ball against a very good defense in Utah. Um, I, I imagine they would do similar type stuff, and the, and the quarterback seemed very comfortable and was doing it. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.